Okay guys, so the recipe we're gonna be doing today, pasta with tomato. This is the main ingredient, it says DOP. DOP means denominazione d'origine protetta. Basically it means that it's actually from San Marzano, the region that produces these tomatoes. I'm gonna add a bit of sugar to the sauce. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, no, but you don't have sugar on this and that. Well, the, the, the tomatoes, this kind of tomatoes, it doesn't have the quality that the actual tomatoes from San Marzano you can harvest, they have, no? But this is much worse. It's more acid and in order to achieve the most similar thing to the real sauce, you're gonna have to add a bit of sugar. Let's just get to it. Basically what, what we just did guys was we just poured the, the kind of tomatoes into this pot with a bit of olive oil. You could add a bit of garlic if you wanted. It's actually the original recipe, but guess what? I don't have garlic in my pantry. Okay, so we do the best with what we got. And it's not about following the traditional recipe, it's just about doing the best that you can with the ingredients that you have available, right? As long as you don't add cream to this, it's gonna turn out fine. We're gonna blend the sauce with this immersion blender. Two ways to go about it, you can do what I'm about to do, which in my opinion, creates a slicker sauce and a more elegant sauce. Or if you like the chunks before putting this into, a, into the pot, you could just get a bowl, pour the can there, squeeze them with your hands, a more rustic feeling. But you blend, okay, without fear. You're gonna tilt the pan a bit, that's gonna become way easier for you. So we're gonna add the sugar. Just a spoon, don't go too aggressive on it, okay? Because once it's in the pot, you can't take it out. Uh -huh. And it happened to me once, it happened to me many times actually, that you start doing this, right? Uh, and then what happens? You can't take out the sugar or you can't take out the salt. It's always better to salt little by little or, just, or to add sugar little by little and then you can remove. No, it's not, and then you can add it, okay? It's not like you can remove. Look really, really slick, really slick. Okay, if you see the consistency that we have, okay? It's not, it's not completely uh, all right if you want to call it. We're gonna let it reduce thickens, okay? About uh, an hour, you see? This is the consistency that we want. And all of this is gonna stick into our pasta. This shouldn't be something that's new. Make sure once you put the spaghetti in to go twirling it little by little, okay? Otherwise it sticks. And we're gonna let this cook until al dente. And I get pissed when people say, you let it cook al dente, okay? Because they don't teach you what al dente is. Al dente basically means to the tooth, okay? And you're not gonna cook it for 13 minutes or for 12 minutes and don't follow the instructions in the packet again. Your burner is not the same as my burner. It's really important that you start getting into the habit if you actually want to cook a lot. To cook stock for the way it should be cooked and, and like to a certain cooking point, cook pasta, cook until al dente, okay? Don't cook 13 minutes just because they tell you to do so. That's a horrible way to start. Cook things until they're properly done, okay? And, one, and if they're not properly done, you don't stop cooking them until they're done. So now this is done. You see because of the consistency, okay? Another thing you want you guys to incorporate, don't use a strainer, okay? It's actually much better to just, you know, put the pasta here and you, you get a bit of pasta water with force. And you twirl. So yeah guys, basically, that's the recipe for today. Okay, simple, no cream. And the best thing about this is that you can actually, as I said before, you can freeze the sauce, let it done in the freezer, and then eventually it's like literally super simple to have an amazing food like this anytime you want in your house.